start showing Alaska during the year 1979. A man named Carl was taking wood from the forest. An unknown person on the other hand, was examining a frequency. When Carl was moving in his car, the truck in front of him flies into the air and lands on the ground. Carl comes out of the car to see it. Meanwhile, a mysterious UFO comes and takes Carl with it. Later we are shown the present time. Here we see the main character of the movie, Isaac. He is a computer engineer and sends a signal to space along with his friends. After some time, he receives some data. Actually, Isaac used to make his vlog every day. When he went hiking one day, he saw something coming down from space. This object was also visible to the citizens. The cops arrive at the scene as well, but Isaac arrives there first. He sees the alien spaceship there. Isaac tries to capture it on film. But the alien spaceship disappears from there. An alien comes behind Isaac and Isaac gets panicked seeing it. He somehow tries to record it on camera. But the alien goes from there. After that, Isaac also escapes from that place. This scene cuts here itself and the screen turns black. After that, we are shown the scene after three days. Isaac lies fainted in that place for three days, where he saw that alien. Then we see some strange marks on his hand. He checks his camera recording. He notices that aliens were taking him with them. After that, Isaac's camera gets turned off. When Isaac returns to the home, his television mysteriously vanishes. After seeing it Isaac gets panicked, but the TV returns as well. Isaac has the impression that these were just hallucinations. The next day, he visits the doctor. The doctor tells shocking news after seeing his hand's x-ray. He tells that his hand was cut by someone. Later it was joined like it didn't cut before. The doctor also doesn't believe it after seeing it. Isaac shows the video to a colleague after arriving at the office. In which he was being abducted by aliens. His friend doesn't believe it either. Isaac comes home and uploads the video of aliens on YouTube. He writes alien abduction footage as the title. It means aliens have kidnapped me and I am the victim of aliens. This video gets viral. The next day, the media channels start calling Isaac for an interview. Isaac goes to a channel for an interview. The reporter asks him many questions. She asks, how he had a camera at that time? Isaac becomes perplexed and interrupts when was asked this question. The reporter believes it is a hoax and ends the interview. Returning home, he sees the news on the news channels that he has made a false video to get famous. Isaac immediately searches for the alien's victim on YouTube. It refers to those who were kidnapped by aliens. He sees a girl's comment, in which she writes that she had the same experience that Isaac had. Isaac messages her and asks her to meet him in a hotel. Later that girl meets Isaac at the hotel and her name is Sarah. Isaac shows her his videos and some history related pictures along with UFO pictures. Sarah informs him that she heard about Carl who was kidnapped by aliens in Alaska during the year 1979. That man also passed the lie detector test. Carl disappeared after that incident. Isaac gives her his phone number at the end of their conversation. She is asked to notify him if she receives any information related to this incident. The next day, Isaac goes to courier his videos, to those who have posted the alien kidnapping article on internet. Meanwhile, on his way, Isaac meets a writer who says, I want to write your story. If you find it right, just call me. Saying this he leaves from there, while giving his card to Isaac. Isaac goes to that writer the next day. The writer says you should pass the lie detector test. Everyone will believe that you were abducted by aliens, if you pass the test. As you are an alien's victim. Isaac does the same as the writer says and passes the lie detector. Then the writer says to him that he will come back in a few moments and leaves from there. Two government agents come there and hold Isaac. Actually, these agents catch those who have seen UFO or who claims that he or she has seen the aliens or alien spaceship. When Isaac wakes up, two androids lock him in a room. Sarah was also bought there by those androids. They place Sarah in another room. There we see a TV in front of Isaac and an officer asks him to cooperate. The officer instructs him to examine various items in the other room. So that he may know Isaac's power. He shows Carl's picture to Isaac and asks him what do you know about him? 
Isaac tells that I don't know anything about him. Isaac tumbles the TV after opening his hands. He goes to search for Sarah. But the androids appear in front of him. Isaac hits them and flees with their guns. While moving forward he sees Sarah in a room, he releases her and moves to the exit door escaping from androids. But the officer has locked all the doors. Now it seems like Isaac has some powers. He opens the door and goes out using his power. He even locks the door. The officer tells to his companions that they are going to meet Carl. We should chase them and know all the details. He sends his androids to chase them. After releasing, Isaac and Sarah find themselves in a village area. They come to a restaurant escaping from there. Isaac tells Sarah that I can trace Carl's location if I get internet. Isaac asks a girl, do you know a person having internet or computer? The girl gives them a hacker's address on a paper. They move from there to meet the hacker. The androids also come there when they reach hacker. That's why they flee from there. The hacker tells them that the members of the United Nations secret society are following us. They secretly live here underground. You know about me, that I am a hacker and I hacked their system also. Isaac asks him to find out Carl's location. The hacker successfully finds out Carl's location through his laptop and the internet. Carl's location is shown somewhere in Canada and he was hiding there. After that, the hacker makes a video call to Carl. Isaac starts talking to Carl. He tells Carl the entire story of what happened to him. Isaac informs him that he and my friend have sent a signal into space. Later, we have received data from there. But I am thinking maybe it's a glitch. Carl asks for the satellite signals data from him. Isaac asks the hacker to download the data from NASA's server. The hacker does it easily. They send the downloaded signals to Carl. Carl makes an audio file using the signals with his laptop. After hearing it, Carl discovers that those signals were sent by the aliens. It infers that after five days, aliens will land on Earth at 4 p.m. Carl asks Isaac to hide, otherwise, the secret agents will find him. Throw or shut your all electronic devices. Carl disconnects the call after saying this. Isaac says we have to go to Canada and search for Carl. As aliens will come here after five days. So they three move to Canada. The officer also discovers that they are moving to Canada. Traveling the whole night they finally reach Canada the next day. They go for searching Carl by commuting on a train. Androids also come into the train by following the railway tracks. Then Hacker gives them masks and says that those androids will recognize us by seeing our faces. They sit after wearing the masks, meanwhile, the androids come and check them. It means they were scanning them. One of the androids suspects Isaac. They were able to escape just in time when the android was about to shoot Isaac. Isaac and Sarah move to the upside of the train. While the hacker hides behind the train door. One android goes upside of the train while chasing Isaac. But it falls. The other android was kicked outside by the hacker while it was planning to go upside. At last, they reach Carl's cabin. Carl comes out with a gun after seeing them through the camera. He says that the secret agency was behind them. That's why Carl straps strange devices to their wrists. He informs them that those aliens have implanted a tracker in their hands. With the help of the tracker, the secret agency can find you easily. As Carl turns off their trackers the officer also doesn't receive any signals. Then, as he takes them to his cabin, he tells them, I collected all of this 20 years ago. I created a device capable of converting any frequency or signal into an audio file. Actually, I also sent a signal and got a reply. But that wasn't a strong reply like yours Isaac. After that, we see that the spaceship arrives in 5 minutes. While they were in Carl's cabin, they hear strange voices. Isaac comes out of the house to check. He tries to search for the aliens in the forest. But the alien again chases Isaac. Isaac asks, what do you want? Then the scene goes black out. In the following scene, we see all of them in Carl's cabin along with the alien. Carl converts the alien's language into his language with the help of the device. Now they could easily understand the alien's language. The alien says we want to know about humans. How do they spend their life and how do they survive? Why does the human world, which means why Earth is so different? 
Alien shows them a vision, and asks about that person. They see Jesus Christ in this vision. Isaac says he is Jesus Christ, asks how come they know about him? Then the alien says that I know about him. He is considered unique and significant in the creation of the universe according to our knowledge. However, the alien says that we received answers to our questions. That is you, yes, Isaac you are the answer to all our questions. Sarah tells the alien, our hands are aching after the alien kidnap. The alien tells them that they have put a tracking device in their hands. The alien places a device on Sarah's hand. Sarah's hand divides into two parts because of it. It takes out the tracker from Sarah's hand. When the alien was about to take out Isaac's device. The officer and his men arrive there. They warn Carl from outside. That if he does not come out, they will murder him entering his cabin. Carl emerges from the cabin, and the officer inquires about his father. Actually, in the beginning scene, we see a truck in front of Carl's car which rises and then falls. In reality, that officer's father was in that truck. His father didn't return though Carl returned. The officer was thinking that Carl has killed his father. Now officer warns Carl that if he fails to tell the truth, he will kill him. Carl says I don't know anything. I don't know anything about him and where he has gone. The officer doesn't believe in Carl, and they shoot him. Sarah comes out seeing Carl's death and the officer realizes that they are inside. When the alien was removing Isaac's tracker, the officer warns him that if he does not come out, then they will shoot and kill Sarah. The officer kills Sarah when Isaac doesn't come out. Now Isaac's tracker was also removed. The alien advises Isaac to use his telekinetic power. By using his powers, Isaac teleports the hacker outside the cabin before the laser hits him. As soon as he comes out, he vanishes the officer and his men. The hacker becomes shocked after seeing it, where could they all be gone? Later the alien revives Carl and Sarah. It also drops them somewhere while taking them in its alien spaceship. The officer thinks that they all escaped from there by sitting in the spaceship. After that, we are shown the scene which is six months later. Isaac and Sarah were living very happily. Isaac is learning to use his telekinetic abilities more effectively.